definitely going to be remembered as the worst day of my life. And not just because I was pinned to a rock and I didn't nearly hack off an arm. Okay, it wasn't my arm, it was Kevin's, but it was still really, really gross. It all started when Judy and I were talking about really personal stuff, like we sometimes always do. I hate my hair. I want Snooky hair. That would look so hot. You know what else I want? To be a Kardashian? Ugh, get real. I want to go hiking on a mountain and commune with nature. Oh my damn it, this is so perfect! All I have to do is ask Judy to go on a mountain hike and then she'll fall madly in love with me and want to share my toothbrush and everything. What up, foxes? Hi, Hi Kevin. Kevin. Judy wants to go hiking, but I don't know my way around those mountain trails. I'm afraid I'll get lost. Uh, I'll take you on a hike, Judy. I never get lost. My compass always shows me the way to go. Why does Kevin always show up and steal my good ideas? Do! What are you doing in the girls' room? I'm not really a park ranger. My mom's friend gave me this evidence right before he got kicked off the police force. It was all that was left after a bear attacked a bunch of Chinese Boy Scouts. But lucky for me, it was my size. Oh, hey, Judy. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? We're taking a hike. The same thing you should do somewhere else. Your quick wit is very amusing, Kevin. However, I have a solemn duty to perform here on this mountaintop. You work here? Work might be too strong a word, Judy. You see, as a park ranger, I love what I do. Here, on this mountain, communing with nature. What kind of park ranger has Chinese writing on his shirt? Our division is very multicultural, Kevin. Perhaps I can take you on a special trail only I know. You'll see some incredible sights. That sounds perfect. Yes, it would have been perfect. It could have been the best entire day of my whole life. Except for one thing. <laughs> We're lost, aren't we? They changed all these trails since Park Ranger School. <gasps> oh no. I, I must have lost my cell phone. We can't call for help. We're going to die up here on this mountain, aren't we? If we can just survive for a few weeks, I'm sure someone will eventually notice us missing. Judy, if this is the end, I would like you to marry me so that we don't die alone. Aw, Kevin, that is so sweet. Oh my damn it, Kevin! Why do you always have to ruin my life? My life, my life, my life, my life. Ow! Oh, my arm is stuck! I can't move! Ooh, it's just like that movie. Judy's right. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to cut off your arm in order to free you. Lucky for you, I have this spork. No, 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 no! No one is cutting off my arm! Let him do it, Kevin. I'm too young to be a widow. Stop! <laughs> no! Stop! Just think happy thoughts. It won't hurt so bad. <laughs> Come on, Judy. Let's save ourselves while we still can. It's better this way, Kevin. I may not have liked you as much with only one arm. Wait. No. Don't leave me here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God have mercy! Stop! Oh! I can't watch! It's okay, Judy. I'm here for you now. It was at that moment that I realized I let my carnal lust blind my good judgment. I, Fred Figglehorn, could no longer hide in the shadows. Ah! Ow, get off of me! Ah! Ah! Hello? Why don't you wanna? Oh my god, I have no idea what you're saying! You have the wrong number! <laughs> they say my heart stopped beating for three minutes. So I guess it wasn't such a bad day after all. I beat Kevin at his own game as Judy and I took the first step in our relationship, communing with nature together. Maybe one day Judy and I will tell our grandkids about this day, so long as Judy survives her bee sting allergy and my bear claw wounds don't get too infected. Peace out, gangsters!